we're going through a major restructuring period of time. Now, we're actually not doing the restructuring, but I think we're into a very different fiscal era than we were from, I, I basically say from about 97 to 2010, 2011, when most major enactments were on the, I'm going to call it the giveaway side of the budget, tax cuts and spending increases. We had a similar period, by the way, from 46 to 81, which I won't go through. And then we had this 82 to 97 period where most of the major enactments were deficit reduction agreements or tax cuts or broad wholesale reforms, Social Security, welfare, uh, the tax system. I think we're into a new fiscal era, and I think it's going to take us years to get through there. So I don't view going through that era as just going to be one piece at a time. But I think to get through it, we're going to have to cope with this type of jurisdictional issue. Uh, another way I have of putting it, thinking the long history of taxation, in the broad history of taxation uh, in this country, even beyond, most of the time taxation was there to collect revenues, mainly to provide public goods, defense and highways and justice. And it really wasn't involved in transfers, but it wasn't because so much the tax system wasn't making transfers, it's because government wasn't making transfers. The whole idea of transferring money to redistribute income, redistribute health care, all, all these types of things is relatively new in the history of the world. And so you have these, these structures, these ways and means committees that we inherit from, say, a parliamentary system. We sort of adopt, and it's supposed to raise the revenues to provide these public goods. Now, all of a sudden, it's raising revenues to provide transfers. And all of a sudden, people discover, well, you know, we can do the transfers in the tax system. You know, to us economists, the transfer is a negative tax, and a tax is a negative transfer. But the other one that a lot of people forget about, that I worry almost just as much about, but isn't even on the radar screen for a lot of people, are what I call expenditure taxes which are all these phase-outs of, of expenditure programs, which creates these huge tax rates. So we don't really have right now a structure that allows us to think consistently about how we combine these together and think about them together. And in fact, we don't even present distribution. You know, I, I actually suggested this on the side to some staff people involved with, with the, uh, the, uh, the, new, the, new, the, new, the new commission, the new congressional committee. I said, you know, you ought to be thinking about what type of distributional table you want to present, because if you're doing spending and taxes, you shouldn't be reporting the distributional tables separately. You should be reporting them together. Like, how do you want to distribute the net burden increase that you're going to impose on spending and taxes? Maybe you should suggest as a compromise, have it be the same percentage of AGI for everyone. But the way we do tax tables doesn't work. The way we do but, spending, but, and we don't even measure distribution, by the way, progressivity the same on spending and taxes. So we've got all these all these issues I think we really have to sort through. And in some ways, at least for the people in this audience, who are many of whom are, are people who struggle with this issue. I think it's in some ways an exciting time for us is to think structurally about how we can actually work through this.